Okay, this is a quick video of the, um, the 4 to 20 milliamp current input on the TRB. If you look here, there's all the pins for the TRB, all nicely color coded. Pin 7 is analog DC, 4 to 20 milliamps. So there's only one analog current loop, current voltage or current, and as you can see, we've got current loop set. You can see currently it's on. 1.6% or 4.3 and you can see my little driver board here which goes straight into the pin 7 there's pin 7 the yellow the yellow out of the driver board is the signal the rest is just power so yeah the, the yellow the yellow driver is going to pin 7 which is in the little board there and that those pins there are the same as those pins there so the yellow is going to pin 7 right so 4.5 current coming out here uh, translates to on the board TRB sees as 4.1. So this is actually very accurate. So the whole point of 4 to 20 is you can get these very, very accurate changes. So as I go up from 4 to 20, you can see it you can really go up very, very finely and have very, very accurate signals all the way from 4 to 20 milliamps, which can represent anything from you know 0 to 100 or uh, power speed. So as I turn this up nice and finely, I can see very accurately a change in signal and there's a very high degree of resolution there that we can monitor and, and, and measure. And there 20 milliamps you can see is the maximum. And the reason it's 4 on the low end, if I go right down again and turn the dial down, is if the signal is dead or too low, then it wants to know that, that it's bad. So basically that's why 4 is the lower limit. Um, and considered um, below naught. So there, anything below four is naught. As I creep up to four again, it'll be just about 1%. So yeah, that's um, analog in on the TRB. Um, again, on this little test board, which is proving really useful just to drive out some signals and check what we get from the field versus what the TRB shows us. And then we'll be seeing what the TRB then sends back to our cloud system.